through all the problems that I had living in this predominantly white neighborhood, racist neighborhood with jealous neighbors, right down to my plants, beautiful plants I have. And they can stand to see the plants beautiful. Sometimes you come at your door, you wonder why you smell earl. I be asking my children, because you know I have a little problem with snakes in the area, and I'm 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 scared of snake. I don't scared of nothing else other than snake. And I said, you know, every time I go down Camp Road. Every so often, like maybe once every two years or so, to the gas station, Mr. Brown, I just call him Mr. Rule or Mr. Brown. I, I, I never really asked him his name, but I just call him the two. <laughs> he used to laugh and he see me coming because he, he used to ask me, so you see one, your friend, eh? Because <laughs> he know I come for her. I want just sometimes just do a little drop. In the back, by where I know the snakes, them like to come, so it will keep them away. The scent from the earl will keep them away. It's not much, just a little drop, just a light scent from from the earl. The earl scent it high, so it keeps them away. Well, coming out of my house, all I smell is earl, earl, earl. I say, y'all been pouring earl around here. So my son know, my daughter know, because you know my husband died many years ago, so it's only me. My son and daughter. And I say, Ma, look here. I smell Earl seriously. When I look, all my plants drying up. Don't care how I water them. Don't care what I do. They pour plenty Earl on my plant that the plants die. All the flowers die. And I didn't realize that's what, what was happening. This is what I was dealing with. You hear me? And if you see how pretty the flowers them was, you say, my God. I had to, every flower died. And don't care how I plant, I go on and buy more plant and plant it. So I was wondering why the flowers won't catch. And they, they die too. So one of my friends, he knew I was having a problem with these people. He came and he checked the soil. I said, I don't know what's going on. He then must he figure out man thinks different from a woman. It's, a, it's very good to have a man opinion. It's very important to have a man opinion when you are a woman. It's very, very important. And he checked the soil. Now, I wasn't thinking like that. See, I always, still always don't think those type way. You understand? Like someone did this or someone did that. I don't never think that type of way. My heart is pure. My mind is pure. And listen here. He say, your soil is stink with oil. That's when I realized. That's how I knew. The earl was throw on the flowers, would kill all the flowers out, and it was so much earl that the soil was damaged. And even though it was a few weeks, you still smell the earl in the soil once you pick up the soil. That's how much earl these buggers put to kill my plant. That's what they be doing when you sleeping, tipping over by you, because I have an open yard in the front. And they tip over by you to do these things or when you're in a round to do these things. That's the kind of foolishness you I was dealing with. I had to dig out every soil from the front of my yard. I'm telling you, it's a good thing. I have that much. I only have a little small flower bed because most of the part paved up for, for parking. You know? And look here. I had to go and put new soil in it for the plants them to be able to catch i kid you not and i tell you when i tell you these people will stop at nothing that's why i bring in my stories because they will stop at nothing they even hate to see your yard 
looking like people live there. Okay? And that's what you have to deal with. And even though I changed the soil, it's only certain flowers was able to take. So every now and again, I had to keep just changing the soil again and changing the soil. That's how damaging. That's how damaging. And how much early they pour to make sure they damage. That's the height of envy of people who don't want to see you have nothing. Mind you, I will never do it to them. And they are so demonic. They have a little patch of grass which wouldn't grow. Uh, somebody must have thrown something in there. You know why people think like that? Because they didn't do it to you. So they figure, and they saying it where you are, because they figuring, oh, you must do it to them. Richard, that's a dirty mind. That's a mind of a dirty person. And that reason they mind dirty because they didn't do it to other people. You see? They didn't do it to other people. Not once, twice. That's how they live. They live and go around doing it. But yet every Sunday they're in church. This is the kind of foolishness I had to deal with. Someone asked me, say, well, why you don't, I say, I don't want to be around certain people and things because I don't, I don't have no time to let's pretend. You understand me? It is, it is, it, it's, it might sound light, but imagine when you um, take care of your place and your flower beds are so beautiful with multiple color flowers and roses and you spend money to get your stuff like that and you spend time because I love gardening and tending to my own flowers. I've never hired a gardener ever before. Okay. And my son, he is, he does the back and I tell him, don't touch my flowers in the front. He, I let him do the major work, and I um just do deal with my little flower garden in the front. I ever used to do that. Even when my husband was alive, I used to do it. And they hate that you try to take care of your place. And that's what you deal with, with people who are so envious over you. They, they'll stop at nothing. Do you hear me? In Proverbs in the Bible, they say that. Do you hear me? That's why I don't like woman company. Stay far from me. Stay far from me. Always with some ulterior motive. Always with some ulterior motive. I don't have no time for that. I don't have no time for that. I too busy trying to survive. Only a fool got time for that. So I bring that story to y'all too, over and out.